Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Milky Moth and today we're talking about this. It's upside down. The Anko Mechanical Backlit Gaming Keyboard. This here is the Anko Mechanical Backlit Gaming Keyboard. This keyboard retails for $39 at Kmart Australia. Now, I know what you're thinking. A $39 keyboard's gonna be pretty crap, right? Wrong. I'm actually very impressed with this. Let's run over a couple of different features that it has. According to the box, keyboard features an all metal plate, detachable wrist rest, 12 multimedia keys, blue switches, a full keyboard anti-ghosting ideal for various games, and as the name suggests, RGB backlighting. I daily drove this keyboard for a couple of days and I had no issues with it whatsoever. The claims on the keyboard's box themselves are actually true. The keyboard does feature blue switches. They're not Cherry MX blue switches. They're, they're basically a clone by this brand here, which I cannot pronounce but I will leave a little link to their website so you can do a little bit of research on them yourself. They're obviously not as high quality as a Cherry MX switch. They're slightly higher pitched, uh, not quite as tactile, but honestly I had no issues typing on it whatsoever. Uh, I'll insert a little sound test now so then you can see what they sort of sound like when you're typing on them. There are multiple multimedia keys, which you can use to open things like your calculator, your web browser. You can also change your music, turn your volume up and down, all those sort of things. Actually, it also has adjustable backlighting, so you can change the RGB modes that it's using, which is honestly very featureful for a $39 keyboard. As the box also suggests, it does include an all-metal plate. It's made of aluminium. The bottom of the keyboard itself is actually plastic, but the top plate is aluminium. There's not much flex to the keyboard at all. It's honestly quite impressive. I used this keyboard for a couple of days just as my general use keyboard. I did some typing of a couple of different scripts and emails and whatnot. I also used it for gaming. No issues whatsoever. The reaction time is perfectly fine. I couldn't find any issues with that. It, the actual physical feel of the keys, they felt completely fun. I had no issues swapping from my current keyboard, which is using Cherry MX Reds to uh, this one here with these uh, knockoff blue switches. It was completely fine. I would honestly be quite comfortable just continuing using it as my daily driving keyboard. The only thing that I would change is the keycaps. I actually have purchased a keycap set, which we're gonna put onto it uh, in a later video. So make sure you subscribe to be notified of when that one is coming out. The intended market for this keyboard, I'm not sure who they're directly aiming it towards, but the people that I would suggest it for personally would be uh, kids who are just getting into gaming or realistically anyone that's getting into gaming who's wanting to get a mechanical keyboard that doesn't want to spend a whole heap of money. The keyboard is really appealing at the $39 price tag. I honestly can't really fault it. There's nothing that really stands out that's bad about the keyboard. The switches are a little bit loud, not quite as stable as like a Cherry MX switch, but it's $39. I can't complain. Personally, as a salesman, I'd be happy to offer this to people who are looking for just a cheap keyboard that's also mechanical. It's a great start to get into using mechanical keyboards without having to hand over big bucks. Hopefully this video can be a good introduction to this keyboard from Kmart. If you liked it, make sure you press the like button. If you didn't like it, it's okay, press the dislike button. If you'd like to be notified of future videos, like the one where we're gonna do a couple of modifications on this keyboard and switch around the keycaps and whatnot, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos coming out. If you'd like to check out my live stream, I also stream on Twitch every Wednesday and Thursday from 9 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So the link is down in the description for that also. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.